Whatever Wednesday, I'm going to be bringing you the second Dollar Tree DIY that you can give for a gift if you're on a budget, if you forgot, <laughs> any of those things will apply. So what I did today was I'm taking an acrylic frame and I am going to be making it into a personalized um, post-it note holder. It's sits, made to sit on a desk and you can put the person's name on it. You can put any kind of embellishment. I've got flowers and rhinestones and um, a sticker from a collection that I got at Tuesday mornings a couple weeks ago. But you can do anything with this. Go to the Dollar Tree and pick up you some ribbon, the gemstones. The only thing that is not from the Dollar Tree is the sticker that I put on it, but I mean, there are tons of stickers at the Dollar Tree. You could definitely find something there that would make a super cute um, decoration for this. I also used some scrapbook paper that did not come from the Dollar Tree, but again, they have scrapbook paper at the Dollar Tree, so you could definitely use that. Um, I made the paper rose that you'll see. You can go on YouTube and Google how to make paper roses. They're everywhere. Um, let's see what else. That's about it. So get your hot glue gun out. Um, post-it note, uh, obviously the post-it notes you need to buy too. So get your glue gun out, get some embellishments out, some scrapbook paper, and just see what you can come up with. So I'll show you what I did here and then, um, Get one for yourself and see how creative you can get with it. Okay, so for today's project, you're going to need some embellishments. I made that paper rose, an acrylic photo holder from the Dollar Tree, and a notepad that I also got from the Dollar Tree. They're just those sticky notepads. Um, I also have a hot glue gun that's plugged in and ready to go. I have some flowers, some scrapbook paper, and I think I have some more flowers here. Yep. Also got these rhinestones. These are the ones that you get in the sheets at the Dollar Tree in the sticker section. So you're just gonna measure out the piece of scrapbook paper to the size of the photo frame. And I believe this one's a three by five, I wanna say. And so you're just gonna put that in where you would put the photo. At this point I'm just trying to decide where I want everything and you'll see me pick up things and move them and I'm really just trying to decide where everything goes at this point. That's just a sticker sheet that came from a collection that I bought from Tuesday mornings. All of those are different stickers but again you can also get stickers at the Dollar Tree. They'll work just as well.
I'm just gluing the paper down right here because I don't want it to move or to start coming off. So this is what it looks like. I'm just gonna let you know that today was not a good crafting day for me. Um, when I put that first thing on, didn't like the way it looked, tore it off, it left a big old mark right there. As you can see, some of the paper stayed on. Um, I covered it up with the flower, but um, I still, I'm just not in love with it. And then when I went to glue it down, I glued it wrong. So I saw maybe I could tear it up. I can't tear it up. It'll tear the whole piece off. So I'm leaving it. So what I'm saying is some days are not good crafting days. I feel like today, um, kind of everything that I'm touching <laughs> is turning to poo. <laughs> So I will not be crafting or doing any more DIYs today after this video. Um, some days are like that guys, really, honestly. Like some days you can have like amazing talent with something and then the next day you go to do the same thing. Um, like let's say for instance, painting. I have had really good painting days where I paint something and I'm just like, wow, like that is really good. Other days I will go to paint something and it looks horrible. It looks like a two-year-old did it. So don't get discouraged. If you try something someday, if you're not a regular crafter and you try something someday and it does not turn out good, please don't get discouraged. Try something another day. You can put it away for that day, definitely. Um, like I'm putting away all my crafting stuff today. I'm done crafting. There'll be no more of that. <laughs> Cause it's just not, uh, I'm not digging it today. And I'm just not, um, it feels like everything that I'm placing down is just in the wrong spot and it doesn't look right to me. But this is a really cute gift to give to somebody. It just sits just like this on their desk. Um, it is really a cute idea because I'm actually gonna keep this on my desk. I like it. And you've got your um, post-it pad here. So if you wanna write a little, um, a little sentiment here, Maybe somebody has really been an extra good friend to you lately. You wanna write them a little, thank you for just being there for me. Um, I wanted to make you something. Or again, if it's somebody's birthday, um, I believe there's a, a best friend day on the calendar. You can surprise them with that. If they're not feeling well, definitely get them something to cheer them up and make them feel a little bit better. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and make one of your own. These are super simple. All right, guys, that's it. Take care, um, like and subscribe the video. Stay tuned for more videos during the summer. I'm doing more DIYs. I'm really excited about them. Um, and I will see you in the next video.